Hi everyone, welcome to the Yuma County Library YouTube channel. My name is Katya and I am coming to you from the San Luis Library. Today I am going to show you how to make embroidered notebooks. What is embroidery? Embroidery is the art of decorating fabric or other materials with design, stitch, and strands of thread or yarn using a needle. Embroidery may also incorporate other materials such as metal strips, pearls, beads, quills, or sequins. Here is a little of the history of embroidery. Embroidery has existed since the production of fabric. While embroidery is practiced across the world, its origin stems from China in the Near East. Early embroidery can actually be tracked back to Cro-Magnon days, or 30,000 BC. Archaeological finds from this time period reveals fossilized remains of heavily hand-stitched and decorated clothing. Now, let's get started. For this wrap, you will need plain notebook with clean paper cover, embroidery needle, embroidery thread, in a variety of colors, scissors, a pin, a sharpie or writing utensil, scratch paper, cutting mat, cardboard or a shipboard, something to protect your surface when you punch the holes, and washi tape. What to do? First, cut the scratch paper to the size of your notebook and then decide on the design you would like to go with and sketch it out on your scratch paper. I knew I wanted a simple triangle design, so I just freehanded the dots where I knew I will end up punching through. Second, open the notebook cover and lay it flat over your surface protector. Make sure your scratch paper, now your pattern, is lined up where you like your design to be and carefully punch through the pattern and through the notebook cover. And third, thread your embroidery needle leaving a good size tail and don't knot either end. Choose where you will start. For my design, I started in the middle. Push the threaded needle through the inside of the notebook cover and pull until you have a small tail left. Tape that down in, on the inside of the cover with your washi tape. Continue until you are finished and tape down the end of the thread once you are done. And there you have it. Designs are endless, so just have fun with it. Here are some tips and tricks. You can mix and paint and embroidery for a cool mixed media look. For words, it is easiest to use capital block letters. Write out the word first and then just punch holes in a way that will look best once they are stitched. For instance, an S needs more holes around the curves, but a T only needs four because it's a more simple shape. Check it out! If you like to get more ideas on embroidery, check out the following books and ebooks. Remember that we offer curbside pickup Follow the Yuma County Library on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more awesome library videos. Stay safe and don't stop reading.